Hey everybody, welcome to Finding Ithaca. Today we're going to read you a fun story called uh, The Little Hero from Holland, and I hope you enjoy it. Here is two fortitude. Someone doing his duty despite pain and loneliness and danger. Someone willing to hold on and hold tight and hold fast. Someone whose resolution outweighs even the weight of the sea. Holland is a country where much of the land lies below sea level. Only great walls called dikes prevent the sea from rushing into the land and flooding everywhere. For centuries, the people of Holland have worked to keep these walls strong so that their country will be safe. Even the little children know they must watch these dikes carefully and that even a small hole the size of your finger could be a very serious thing. Many years ago, there lived a boy called Peter. Peter's father was one of the men who worked and tended the gates and the dikes. One afternoon in early fall, when Peter was about eight years old, his mother called him in from play and said, Come, Peter, you must take these cakes to your friend the blind man. If you go quickly and do not stop, you'll be home again before dark. Peter was happy to go on such an errand. So he went out and uh, visited the poor blind man for a while, but then he remembered his mother's wish that he should return home before dark. He bid his friend goodbye, and he set off for home. As he walked beside the canal, he noticed how the rains had swollen and how the water started to beat against the side of the dike. He thought of his father's strong gates. I'm glad they're so strong, he said. If they gave way, what would become of us? These pretty fields would be covered with water, he said. Father calls them angry waters, he said. He suppose he thinks they're angry at keeping them out for so long. Suddenly, he noticed the sun was setting and it was growing dark. Mother will be watching for me, he thought. And he began to run towards home. But then he heard a noise. There was a small trickling of water. And he stopped and he looked down and there was a small hole in the dike through which tiny stream was flowing. Any child in Holland is frightened at the thought of the leak in the dike and Peter understood this danger at once. He raced down to the dike and he thrust his tiny finger right into the hole. The flowing of water stopped. Oh, he said to himself, the angry waters must have stayed back now. I can keep them back with my finger, he said. Holland shall not be drowned while I'm here. This is all very well at first, but then it started to grow cold and dark. Come here, come here, Peter shouted, but no one heard him and no one came to help. He grew colder and colder. His arm ached and began to grow stiff. Ah, oh, will no one come, he yelled. Mother, mother, he yelled. But his mother had anxiously looked along the dike for her son, but it had been so dark she couldn't have seen him. She thought that maybe he'd spent the night with his blind friend and without asking permission, so she just thought she'd scold him the next morning. Peter tried to whistle, but his teeth chattered with the cold. He thought of his brother and his sister in their warm beds and of his dear family. I mustn't let them be drowned, he said, even if I have to stay here all night. The moon and the stars up above looked down on poor Peter and watched as he rubbed his hand that was holding back the angry sea. I'll stand it somehow, he said. And so he stayed there all night long, holding back the sea, keeping the water out. Early the next morning, a man going to work thought he heard a groan as he looked over the side of the dike. Oh, looking over the edge, he saw a child clinging to the edge of the dike of the Great Wall. What's the matter? He said. Are you hurt, little one? I'm keeping the water back, Peter yelled. Tell them to come quickly. The alarm was spread. People raced from their homes with shovels and, and ran to the hole, and soon it was mended. They carried poor Peter back to his parents, and before long, the whole town had known how he had saved their lives that night. To this very day, they have never forgotten that brave little hero of Holland. Catch you next time.